What is up, YouTube? This is your boy, Mr. Veggie Man, a.k.a. T.O. Car Collector. Today is Saturday, July 27, 2024. Got a lot of cool pickups here. Um, this is the week of the National Convention. Unfortunately, I didn't make it to the National Convention, but got to give a shout out to the city of Atlanta. Atlanta stand up. Um, there's already something cool to do in Atlanta, even though when I have a National Convention, I haven't had any like in like 30 years, but it's always cool stuff, cool autograph opportunities. So, if you're in Atlanta, if you don't get to go to the convention, there's always something here between the Atlanta Braves, I don't deal with them anymore, but Atlanta Dream, Georgia Tech, or whatever else. You know, they, um, another place, a little comic book shop started going to that does autograph signs, so you can find an autograph sign to go to. So without further ado, let me show you what I got. I went up Georgia Tech, got this football sign. I want to tell you about what they did to me in Georgia Tech, though. I had one of those little, I'll show right here. I had this drawstring bag up here. Shout out to my folks at State Farm. But they carry my stuff in there because I know I couldn't carry a book bag. And then when they started letting people in, they would start acting, security was acting weird and funny and shady. So basically, the security lady going to tell me, I can't bring this bag. I'm like, all right, I just fold it and put it in my pocket. Like, oh, no, you can't put it in your pocket. Just leave it somewhere on the side. So basically, saying just leave it so somebody can steal it and go in there and, and get your autographs. You can't bring it in, which is really stupid. So, yeah, I'm on make this family friendly. I'm not going to say anything derogatory, but that was just really stupid. But no one stole the bag. Shout out to everybody for not stealing the bag. So I yeah, get this back and later transfer my football back home. Also, this looks kind of jacked up, but I'm going to get this smoothed out here. They signed a poster. I went to a guy in a poster shop in downtown Decatur. <clears throat> he said he can get his frame hooked up for me, but the price wasn't right. And he was telling me some other options I can do too, so I will get this frame put up in the man cave because this is really nice. Mostly everybody on the team. So the only person didn't sign that I know of was a coach or most of these players, including the quarterback, Haynes King. I did get a chance to ask him, um, does he going to have any football cars coming on Bowman University or anything like that? He said he signed a couple of cars there, so hopefully that will be out sometime in the fall. I was looking for something on eBay. I can get him to sign at the signing, but they didn't have anything for me to get, so it's all good, though. And also, this was a little map of what he was doing there. Only thing I really cared about was the autographs. I didn't go to none of the other stuff. I was so ticked off about the thing in the back. I got my autographs. So I just took a brief walk around and got out of Dodge. So that's that. Let me show you some other cool things that I got. Picked up a couple books here. This one, this is an autograph, but this is a cool book. You know, helpful, like, tips around the house. This has some recipes in it, too, and bunch of cool stuff. This is like an older book, probably came out in like the 70s or something, but these two um, little hint, hint books, life hack books around the house, these are cool to have, so, you know, shout out to Mary Ellen, the writer of this book. Put this to the side. And I got well, a couple of things here, but I'm not going to show this one. Now I got this is a little bread book. You know, bread recipes, you know, like my bread, I'm not on that low carb stuff. I, I need my bread and my carbs and my energy. So yeah, for all you bread lovers out there. Then also this was cool here. A little Spider Man, you know, comic books. This was free in the book here, so you know, shout out to whoever left it in there, so now it's part of my collection. I got a couple of autographs here. It was a point book, and this was autographed to Lisa. <coughs> got an author here, Nancy. So shout out to her. And I got this one here. This is a little Christmas gift book. It's kind of dirty. I need to clean this up. This is signed to yeah, Stephanie Perry Moore. Not the greatest autograph, but autographs, autograph. Now I'll show you some more pickups I got in the mail. This is just random stuff. I saw, I think this was Johnny Serene. I think he got, he got this guy in um, TTM. And I was looking some stuff in TTM, but. I just found these cars just real cheap, so I just got a car already certified autograph. I think I got, oh, I should have had two of these or whatever, but I'll just look and see. And then this is Dwayne Wade's son again. Not the weirdo son, but his other son that plays ball. The masculine son. And I got Al Harrington. His McDonald's All-American rookie autograph card. I love my McDonald's All American cards. I got some more um, G League basketball autos. I 
All right, now for some upsetting news here. I'm um, actually, I got some in the mail from the IRS. So I'm kind of uh, feel some type of way about, so I'll show you that. It says pay up IRS, Mike Rotunda. Now I actually sent him a card. He kept the card and just in these NS cards back. So that's kind of win, but kind of fail. I wish he would sign the card, but it's kind of funny. Unless he's saying I should, he was charging the mail. I should have paid him. I don't know if I sent him a fee or not, but. You know, whatever. At least I got something back, so whatever. Now, moving on. Got Scott Bales. He's a great signer here. I like these 86 cars. This is the first year I started buying baseball cars with my allowance. He's 86, so these always have a soft spot in my heart. You got Bobby Valentine. He signed one. Keith Van Horn. I sent him three. He signed one. This car looks cool, sign. There was another one I wish you just signed, but you know whatever. I'll just add a random back later on. And they got Betty Lennox from the former WNBA player. Care her home address. Like I said, I was going through my closet and I found my WNBA album because it was like missing, so I found it. And I started looking through there, seeing who signed. She was one of them, so I just started sending them out and see what happens. Because you know, not going to the games right now. I haven't been to a WNBA game in a minute, so. Just send them up in the mail. Yeah, football player. Bill Moss. Nose tackle. Four nose tackle for the Chiefs. I'm a Raiders fan, but I don't care who signs. If you sign, I'll send to you. I don't care what team you play for, I should say. Alright, check that out. And I always thought this guy was um Devin Hester's daddy, but actually... I heard they're not related. They just happen to be named Hester. I know a girl named Hester who used to live around the way. Shout out to you watching that. You know, me and her grew up together. I was like a couple years old now. I used to hang out on the block with some homies. Then she'll know what I'm talking about if she watched the video, but I doubt she's watching the video. But if she is watching, she knows who she is. You know, we sang around the way on 27th Avenue growing up. All right, so shout out there. I got Earl Tatum. Shout out to my girl Tanya. That's like an inside joke between me and her. No, Earl Tatum, but just the name Tatum. She'll know what I'm talking about when she sees this. All right, so you signed three. Former Lakers and Pacers player. Here's a big one. Juan Garn. I sent him a few times. One time I didn't get him back, but he did return this time. So I think I better send him like once every year or so. Don't want to get too greedy with him. So yeah, I appreciate Juan Garn hooking up. I got Mike McMahon signed two out of three. I sent one of them generic Rackers cards. I remember when he played, he was actually pretty good. I mean, he played on Lions. The Lions weren't a good team, but he was a decent quarterback, and he just didn't get a fair shake because he played one year, was decent. Next year, they drafted Joey Harrington, and Joey Harrington wasn't better than him, but of course, Joey Harrington was their first round draft pick, so they made sure he played, and they got rid of Mike McMahon, so he pretty much got jobbed out of the NFL, so that kind of sucked. I got Vance Johnson. I hate Denver for passion, but I appreciate him signing. He sent, he just racked up. Now he sent a no. I'm not gonna um, read what's on the note. I'll just keep that between me and him. But basically, it, to make a long story short, he'll say he'll sign, but he appreciated donation just because of different things going on. So. I'll say on his behalf, if you're watching this, you send to Vance Johnson, go ahead and hook him up. Give him like a $5 donation per card. I mean, just, just do it. All right? just, I'm not going to get into the logistics of it, but just send him a donation. I might go in after the fact and send him a donation. So, I mean, it'll sign for free, but just, just send him a donation just to show your appreciation. And I'll just keep the logistics between me and them. There's another one I always send a donation to. He always shows me love. Roger Craig. I, to this day, I have no idea why he's not in the Hall of Fame. So we got that here. And I got my little favorite Atlantis Plumbing Magnet. I always get this magnet here, so shout out to them. Um, but yeah, that's my hookups for the week. If you got any questions, leave them below. Other than that, I'm going to put this stuff up and go on about my business. This is your boy, Mr. Veggie Man. I'm out of here.